YouTube, it's your boy Elijah, Easy Breezy, and today I'm here to talk to you about me being diagnosed with autism. So, if you guys don't know, uh, I was diagnosed with autism when I was uh, six years old. You know, my mom said that the teachers in, pre in my uh, preschool class, they said it was like something different about Elijah. Like, he's not doing what the other kids are doing. He can't really tie his shoes properly. So, they gave me the diagnosis, and that's where the journey began. But I didn't know I was different until I was about nine years old my mom sat me down one day and she told me hey, Elijah you have autism but I didn't believe it because my older brother he has low functioning and it was just like what I got autism like because I always thought that being on the spectrum means you was like I'm not gonna say slow but like this wasn't because I saw what I thought is what my brother had that I didn't think I had what he had so uh, I felt like I was different since I was you know six years old I always felt like I was different because I would like do things that other kids won't do and you know I got bullied for it and when I was like about 10 years old you know I tried to commit suicide and I guess somebody in the hospital told me like Elijah you're special you know don't do that you know you got a lot of gifts you got a lot of talents so the journey really got hard in high school though and I just came from this autistic school middle school you know trying to fit in trying to have friends and you know, I went through a lot in my high school journey. You know, I got bullied, no girls didn't like me. And I went through a lot of depression, you know. Thank God I got through high school, you know. But one day, you know, my mom, me and my mom was talking. I just said, I wanted to help people, I wanted to advocate for people with autism. And she was like, you know, maybe you should, you know, make videos and get out there more, connect with more autistic people to help them because uh, I want to help somebody that that's going through the same things I did when I was 11 or 12, you know. I just want to, like, be an advocate, you know, advocate for people that can't advocate for themselves because I know it's hard. It's been a hard journey, but I know God gave me this for a reason, you know. God didn't just give me this as a curse, so, you know, I'm just going to live my truth, and I'm, I'm not scared to say I got autism, you feel me? But let me know if you guys need a part two.